everybody. Welcome back to Tech Talk. Today I want to discuss the difference between apps, extensions, and add-ons. First of all, let's take a look at some of the apps that I've installed. You can just click on the shortcut that the district has provided for us. And you may not have as many as I have. I've added some as time has gone by. Some of my some video apps. Um, one of my favorite apps is called Pixlr Express and it lets me do some pretty neat photo editing, photo editing online. Now it would be true to say that apps are a lot like glorified shortcuts because honestly I can get to Pixlr Express by using the link on my shortcut bar up here. But my shortcut bar is getting kind of crowded so really it makes sense for me to clean this up a bit and if something is available as an app be better for me to access it this way. I also think that one of the reasons that Google does this is because this looks more like a tablet interface and we're going to be doing a lot more work with tablets as time goes by. So apps are just web-based applications. They are programs that run on the web in the cloud instead of being installed on your computer. Extensions are modifications to the Chrome browser. I have a bunch of extensions across here and one of my favorite ones is this little guy here and all it is is called Google Drive New Tab and when you click on it it has one mission in life. It opens up a new tab and it shows my Google Drive and that's all I needed to do. It's really very handy. Um, I could probably get by without it, but I kind of like it. Extensions all add functionality to the Chrome browser. I have a little extension here that creates a sticky note. Right? I can make a sticky note and save it, print it, share it, and that's what that little extension does. It doesn't matter where I am, what website I'm at, I can open up one of these extensions. So extensions can be very very handy the one I'm using to record these screencasts is called Screencastify and you can get extensions from the Chrome Web Store just as you can find apps in the Chrome Web Store you can just do some searching for things that you need and there are lots of cool extensions that you can add to Chrome and if you add one and you don't like it it's really easy to get rid of it you can right click on it and remove it from Chrome or you can go and manage all of your extensions at once. You can enable them or you can put them in the trash can if you really don't like them. They don't cause any harm. Um, you know, they're not like a major installation. If you just and you can just get them back again if you change your mind. It's pretty easy. Add-ons are something else. I'm going to come back to Google Drive and I'm going to open up a new Google Doc. For Google Docs, for instance, there are a variety of add-ons that you can get which only work with Google Docs. And if you're interested in getting an add-on for Google Docs, you just go ahead and click on Add-ons, and then you click on Get Add-ons. And you can see the different things that can be added to your Google Docs. I have added four things to Google Docs. One is Doc Tools, which makes Google Docs a little bit more like Microsoft Word. We do bibliographies, speech recognition, and styles, which is kind of nice because it will give me some options of uh, you know, preset styles to use in a Google Doc, and that's pretty nice. And you get 20, well, you get 20 formal styles, you get 20, 20 overall, so that's pretty nice. So remember, apps are web-based applications. Extensions are little guys up here that modify the browser no matter where you are, your extensions are always available. And add-ons actually work within something like Google Docs or Sheets or Slides within your Google Drive. I hope you found this helpful and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>